okay? Well, just tell you, I could not imagine what those people that endured that night, December 10th, I could not imagine hearing the sirens or something going off and looking out the window and seeing that beast of a tornado just quietly moving in complete destruction. And so they had a complete outbreak, Mississippi Valley, Ohio area, throughout multiple states, and then even one called the Quad State Tornado that they're saying went, was it 250 miles? Now, I don't know if that was the video here showing that tornado, if that would have been that that tornado going that distance but it's it's crazy because I don't know if I lived in an area that could, was prone to maybe having some of the, those tornadoes if I would definitely I would probably definitely have a a shelter built off the back side of the garage that can take winds up to 300 miles per hour that would be built for that stuff but you'd have to be you know what first of all awakened to know these things were coming through that i don't know it seems like the big ones come through when you at least expect it and then when they talk about it all day long and they prepare you really nothing happens kind of seems like it's that way I don't know what they were putting out. Um, but then right after that, where I'm at, we got hit with snowstorm. Thank goodness the wind wasn't blowing too bad. Or it could have been a blizzard. So we escaped that one. But 2012, we left Florida. I don't know if it was spring break. I don't remember the month we're down there. And I drove. So I was coming back from Florida with a couple of my kids. And I think, if I remember right, we were just outside of Nashville. And we stopped. I think it was a pancake house. And I remember, I don't know if the gal said something or if they had the TV on or the gal said that, be careful. We're under a tornado watch or whatever. And I was kind of like, really? So we got going. And not only once we hit Kentucky, I think we were about 50 miles from Paducah when we hit some crate. Like we hit what was a huge tornado outbreak, but we were on the edge of it. And that was just the beginning that night. They had a tornado outbreak through Alabama. I think it was during the night doing the same thing. The destruction was crazy. And we had stopped right when we got in Illinois. We stopped at, um, I don't, I'm not sure what the town was. Probably 100 miles, 75 miles maybe from St. Louis. We stopped. <clears throat> and I remember the news, you know, beep, 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 you know, throwing all those warnings up. But we were right right there on the edge and missed but the craziness is what we seen driving i mean the clouds were every direction swirling up and i was like telling the kids i don't know what we're getting ready to run into but we bypassed what was going that direction which i do have a video here of uh one of those tornadoes that night or that day, an out-outbreak 
that happens. I just would think that if you live in any of these type of areas, so where I live, I have a basement. But I would definitely spend the money and put in one of those, uh, if you can't, you know, if you guys don't have basements, and that, those areas don't have basements. It's worth the money. It's worth the money to put one of those. And to have every system that will tell you, alarm you. I know most phones have that technology, but I think um, people need to be definitely more prepared so we they can battle this these things that happen these little things at night that are devastating beasts of storms so take care
Okay.